Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Evil Mermails with 772 rating versus Amp Amp with 1073 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So we're going to see Evil Mermails when the rock, paper, scissors shoe, and he's going to get to decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hand is Desires, Droll, Nian, Desires, Lulu. So Droll in the main deck, uh, so now I've seen two people main deck Droll, and they're both virtual world players. Uh, this card is definitely not bad in the main, I think it's going to become way more popular over the next like few weeks just because of Drytron. And then he has Water, Ash, Instant Fusion, Droplet, Talent, so this is nice. Um, also, somebody asked me, do, they, do I think Talents is a going second or a going first card? Uh, I mean, it does both. Like, it's good at both. I think it's better going first, but it's also, like, always live going second when trying to break a board. It's going to set and activate desires. Banish 10, and then chain ash. Let's see, anything. Wait, was that? Oh, never mind. It's too choochy. All right. Also, main decking Bell, Ash. Really just getting to see like what his main deck is. It's going to normal summon Nian and then Lulu effect. Send Qinglong, add Chuchi. And then Qinglong, that's going to add Roshi. Discard Desires. And then go in the Juju. Roshi effect. Send Qinglong, summon itself out. Bring out Nian. And then go for Shen Shen, Set Chu Chi, End Phase, Pass Turn. So, if he really wanted to, I mean, he could have went for uh, a VFD play just by not discarding Desires and by discarding this instead and then, you know, just VFD and chooses not to. It's kind of interesting. He only has one Virtual World banished right now. I don't know, this just isn't interruptions. Draws Gamma. It's going to activate Droplets, getting rid of Gamma, negate Shen Shen, and then Normal Summon. Go for Meow Meow. He's going to get Water Effect, Special Summon Out Wind. Also, if you VFD versus this deck, uh, like turn one, I would call uh, Earth. Just because that gives them a draw. And I feel like that's the most impactful one through VFD. I feel like a lot of people call water, fire, and those are just the worst to call. Bring out fire and then get the search off a of doodle. And then he's going to use doodle effect. Add back wind and add back pranks. Activate instant fusion. This card is insane in prank kids. Bring out the rocket ride and then effect. It's gonna bring out doodle and water. And then turns those in the bow wow. Uh, get to bring out rock from deck and bring them for 500. And then link in the unicorn. Unicorn effect, shuffle back, get the draw. And then, oh, whoa. Yeah, so he's choosing not to draw on the draw. I guess it's because he did discard, like, talent. Oh, uh, I don't know. Because, like, discarding talents, like, if you drop draw, they can't draw. They would just steal and take. He's going to get the search for Earth. I guess he's just going to leave this in hand forever and... Just discarded for Qinglong, which is probably its best use now. Go for access code. Effect on Unicorn, and then he's just going to pop the board. Activate. Oh, wait. This makes all the guys gang five. That's just game. Wow. Did not expect an OTK there. That was... Nice. Uh, the end board that he chose to end on was kind of weird because it was like Shen Shen, Juju, Chuchi, 
but only Shenshen was causing interruptions on the board. I I don't think it was like that good of an end board. I definitely think it could have been played differently. Uh, but now next game opening hand is Chinglon, Kieran, Talons, Ash, GG. Uh, this is better than last time for sure. And then he has Prang, Droplet, uh, Water, Gamma, Talons. So one hand trap going second. Activate Chinglong and then Kieran effect. Bring itself out by dumping two. And then GG effect. Summon itself out by dumping the Chinglong. And then Neon effect. Bring itself out. He's going to overlay for number 75. Chinglong. Add Lulu. Then discard Talons. Lulu effect. And now just, you know, full combo. Send. Add Roshi. Turn those into Shen Shen. And then Roshi effect. Send Nian, summon itself out, summon back Kieran, effect, lower the level, go for Croc, get a free draw. Draws, oh, but yeah. Uh, unfortunate, but doesn't really matter. Go for VFD, or actually it does kind of matter. Because he has droplets, and there's no Chu Chi setup, so it definitely matters. But Gamma is still, or Ash is still really good versus that deck. He's going to get the add back, pass turn, draws another water. Yeah, usually cards like Droplet or Imperm wouldn't, well, Imperm wouldn't stop him here, but cards like Droplet or Dark Ruler usually wouldn't stop VFD because they would have Chuchi set up on field to help play around it. Uh, but here he kind of, he's going to use the effect, call water. And then droplet effect. Obviously, like if they summon and then you VFD effect, it's different. But if you're gonna blindly call with it, then I would call Earth. It's gonna use Talons. Looks at the hand, sees two Ash Blossom, and admits defeat. What a game! Like drawing the second Ash there actually just was good. That's incredible, honestly. Double Ash for the win. Yeah, I didn't even expect that. That that was nice. But we're going to see Prank Kids go first game three. Opening hand is TT, Ash, Desires, Chu Chi, Ching Long. TT. This isn't bad. Because they always try to go for, like, Butler and stuff. I mean, they're still going to... Eh, I mean, this is decent. This is definitely decent. And then he has Nib, Place... Uh, fusion spell, driver, one for one. Bet you this TT puts in a lot of work. Activate. It's going to search for fire. And then normal summon, going to meow meow, fire, chain ash, and then drop one for one. It's going to bring out wind. And then link those two away for doodle. He's going to get doodle and wind. So he's going to get the dump plan. And then bring out, search. I like this card. I play tested the deck on stream one time and I was playing without this. But I really like this card. And then like another cool thing with this card that a lot of people don't know is that you can just like have this card. Like normal summon if they try to interrupt it. Use the effect to link and just link away that one monster from Meow Meow. Which I think is cool. But obviously it's mainly there for the graveyard effect. Doodle effect to get the add back. So what do I know in hand? Yup, he knows pranks. This and that. It's gonna set two and pass. Doesn't even doesn't even want to use this to try to put these back and get a free draw. Well I guess because like you really want this to engrave for butler so it definitely makes sense draws ash two ash won him last game <clears throat> whoa that was weird but two ash won him last game so probably win him this game maybe or will it win him this game i should say not probably gets to draw gg lulu off desires some good draws um banish two ching long Good thing Nian's crazy. 
And he has the third one in hand. So it's kind of, oh, it's kind of rough. He's just going to set some cards, pass turn, draw a fusion spell. Yeah, never. Yeah, if you ash the effects, then they don't get to, yeah. Go for Meow. Uh, he's saying that like he used this effect last turn, and then he chain Ash. Uh, so you don't take damage. Um, he's going to Ash that. And then normal summon, battle phase, tech for a thousand, tech for fifteen. Weird enough, like a mirror force here would have been nice. And then he's gonna go for doodle. He's gonna get the effects. Searches for place and then burn. It's not gonna summon out. Yeah, um, it's actually, like, really common for them not to summon. Their first turn play, to play around Nib, they will use the effect, usually bring this out, and then they'll send, but not summon, so that way they can still, like, doodle effect. And then he's gonna get the add back. Activate pranks, set one, and then pranks end phase. Gets the shuffle back, and then draw one. He just has all of them in hand. Draws GG. He's going to activate Chinglong, and then use the Lulu effect on it. It's going to summon itself out by sending Chu Chi, add Nian, and then normal summon Nian. He's going to go into Juju, and then Juju effect, he just lets it get sent, um, that tells him that the other set is just another one, uh, he's going to get Nian effect to shuffle back, most likely was a Chinglong, yeah, definitely want to have one of those in deck, activate Chu Chi and then GG effect on Chu Chi, um, I mean, he didn't need to flip this. But I guess he's also could be afraid of like this getting affected somehow, and this not being able to summon. Chuchi effect make GG level six and then go for M seven. He's thinking now. He's gonna drop Nib on the summon of that. And then summon out the token and defense. Get to add Roshi. Discard GG. And then Roshi effect. Still gonna get his nice GG end phase add. Summon itself out by sending Nian. Summon back Nian. Or. Oh, he's gonna send Lulu off of Roshi. Okay. And then summon back out GG. So if once that engraves that way you can GG and phase add it then. Then activate. It's gonna bring out Butler and then all of its nice effects. So many effects. Oh, so he's actually not gonna use too many. He's just going to use four. Which is crazy. I said, oh not really that many, just four. Um then he's going to TT, Butler effect, um, oh, like a good thing to note, like TT versus this deck, I saw it come up yesterday actually, so if they go like, maybe a good example, like Lulu effect on Chinglong, summon itself, and then search for Roshi, you can't TT there because the last thing that happened wasn't the summon, it was the search. If they summon something or do something like Roshi to summon back, then you can TT. Uh, another one is like Kieran, summon itself, and then if it double foolishes Burial, then you can't TT. So just some good things to note for that. You don't want to mess up with that. 
And then Butler effect, that's going to bring back Chuchi effect. That is going to let him pop the fire. And then end phase, get the grab back Lulu, pass turn, draws wind. And then he's going to activate place. And that's going to give him the search for fire. Also, not attacking this deck is like a real strategy. Like, I used to just never attack this deck, because if you do, they just get everything back. At least this way makes them do it, like, slowly. Yeah, normal summon, and then Chuchi effect the pop. Pretty good. And then end phase, you're going to get Pranks effect. Let's see, does he draw a hand trap? Really needs a hand trap. Does he draw it? No. Wow. Draws Chinglong. Oh, man. Draws Chinglong. It's not really what you would uh, want to draw there. Like the last thing you'd really want to draw there. It's going to use Lulu effect, summon itself out by sending Chuchi. And then he's going to add Roshi. And then Roshi effect, target Chuchi, send Nian, bring itself out, bring out a GG. And then Nian effect, bring itself out. So he already has a lot of monsters. He's going to use Chinglong just to negate. I like that. Um, getting another virtual world card banished for Chuchi in case if he gets interrupted. And then he's just going to attack. Not a lot of damage, but it is some. Goes for number 75. And then he's going to go off into a Vermilion. Um, he's going to have a Vermilion effect, pop Chinglong. And then Chinglong effect, that's going to add Kieran. I really like it when people pop their own cards. Like their own Chinglong, like Chuchi effect pop, Vermilion pop. I like it. Grand Pulse pop. Breaksword popped their own card. No, he forgot to discard off his Chinglong. Yeah, he, he reminded him. Chu Chi up the level by three and then go for VFD. And then pass turn. So this was very well played. Ending on 75 plus VFD and not being able to get nibbed at any point throughout that. VFD effect call Earth. Yes, that's what you're supposed to call. Shout out to him for calling the right thing. Nobody ever calls the right thing. They always call fire or water. And just no point. Terraforming add mystic mine. Maybe. I mean, like, it's going to be... Maybe... No, alright. I, I could hope, I could hope. I mean, it wouldn't be good, obviously. Uh, you know, this deck doesn't care about Mystic Mind. And I'd be very surprised if he was even on Mystic Mind. Especially going second. But we can hope. Activate. Get the search for water. And then activate Fusion. That's going to bring out Washer. He's going to get the effects. Send the summon. And then... Summon out, and then gang a thousand. It's gonna link away in the meow meow. It's gonna get fire effect, burn for 500, bring out rock. Is he gonna, like, what is he doing here? Like, what is the end board? Make doodle, then make bow wow, end phase. He's gonna use choo chi effect. It was he popping with this. He's gonna pop washer. Um Alright, well he's gonna put back and then draw pass turn, draw Nian. There's no hand trap. Again. Really needed a hand trap. He's gonna get VFD to call light. And then he's going to chain Bark Effect, Tribute Meow Meow. Targeting those two, and he's going to chain Choo Chi Effect. It's going to pop Bow Wow. 
That is chain link two. So then he's still gonna get the add back. And then normal summon out Nian, Nian effect bring itself out. And then get rid of those for starters charge. He's gonna get the draw and Nian shuffle back. Chinglong effect, search for Lulu. And then discard city. And then Lulu effect, target Chuchi, add Roshi. I mean, it's game. It's eventually gonna be game this turn. Roshi effect. Send Chinglong, summon itself out, and summon back Kieran. Overlay for Fen Fen. Fen Fen effect. Banish the plan. You'll love to see it. This card causes so many problems, I swear. Like, if this resolves, they just get to put everything back. But said GG, kept drawing all pranks. Yeah. Um, really needed, like, hand trap draws instead of. Prank kid draws would have helped him a lot. Uh, but that was well played on both sides. Like TT, it did end up having a huge impact. Um, like he like Vermilion popping his own cards was a very good play. I think both of them just played it well for sure. But let's see how long the match was. It felt long. Holy 60 ah 69 minutes long. Uh I wonder, like, 40 minutes in, where were they at? Turn 5. Turn 5. Holy, these are some long turns. Maybe that was just, like, game 2, turn 5. I don't really know how that works. I don't really look at the turns on this. But, uh, like, in real life, playing against prank kids, it's so difficult. Because if they just set up turn 1, you're pretty much forced to scoop because... If you can't, like, break the board, you're just going to lose in time just because of how long it takes for stuff to happen, how good the deck is in time. Uh, it's a difficult deck to play against, honestly. Like, if I was to play at a tournament, this would be one of the last decks I'd want to play against just because of, like, it's, it's like, life points. It's so difficult with only, like, 40 minutes. But that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.